Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I know I've been away for two months and a lot has happened in these two months. Um, some for the worse, some for the better. They will be an update video. For those interested and for those that checked up on me, thank you. I really appreciate it. Anyway, this video is about free finally being free of so many freaking things that were bringing me down but most importantly my acrylic nails I decided in December to get acrylic nails I decided to treat myself to some acrylic nails um, in February I um, decided to get rid of them uh, there's just so much me so like I was saying, the acrylic nails, which is so much maintenance, going in for fill and everything when I could do it all on my own. And um, the beginning of February, I think. No, no, that's not true. Um, I've got my dates confused. Um, it's This whole two months have just kind of blended together. Um, maybe about two weeks ago, I decided to soak them off and... If you're interested on um, how to go about or how my method of soaking off, um, I'm going to link a video somewhere up here on the top in the information card. And I'm also going to link it down at the bottom in the information um, section. So this is what they look like. Uh, it took me about a good patient hour of delicately, uh, meticulously, and carefully soaking them off. <clears throat> My allergies are bad. So as you can tell, I was able to salvage them. Um, there's not too, too much damage. Um, let's see if I can point it out. Um, the middle finger got pretty bad damage here. Um, this finger also got pretty bad damage. Um, now what I did for the worst week, for the first week, and this is just what worked for me. I am not a nail technician. I'm not a professional. I've just been doing my nails since I was a teenager. So um, I know what works for me. Maybe it'll work for you. I'm more than happy to share it with you. So when I first soaked them off, there were some jagged edges, little spikes. Um, because the nail was so brittle, I didn't want to file it. I didn't want to cause any more um, damage to it than it already had. So I, um, as you can see, this has, it's about half used. No, not even. Um, it's about to where the Sally is. Where the Sally Hansen. <clears throat> That's how much I've used in two weeks. Uh, so for the first week, um, I buffed it just a little bit. Just enough to make it, um... To make the this um, seven in one care system look okay, not perfect, but okay. And um, like I said, the, there were jagged edges, um, not the best, um, but as you can see from the end result, it it works. Um, there was some spikes. Um, I said, you know, um, I was okay with that. The main thing was to salvage them so they wouldn't break. So uh, what I did was I did four generous coats of this and then a quick dry top coat now um, let me see if I can find a nail as you can see hopefully you can see but there's a lot of bubbles in this area there's also a lot of bubbles here hopefully you can see on the nail plate um, this, this nail also, this hand also got a lot of damage. So anyway, um, I was okay with that for the first week. For the second week, um, I took it off again. And then I went in with this. You can get it at Sally Beauty Supply. And at that point, I thought my nails had grown enough to be able to handle any type of buffing. So I think I used the, well, the pink side which is to remove ridges. I don't know if you can tell, but I use the pink side to get rid of the jagged edges, to get rid of the little spikes, for a better lack of words. 
and um, I just went around and gently did it and that's where we are today now um, I think the first week I did four coats and then every day because it was so brittle I did one coat for maybe about three days so I got a pretty good sturdy layer of coats just to protect them from breaking um, this right here on the second week is now just four coats four coats um, there's a little bit of lifting here um, what I did the first and I'm sorry I'm bouncing back and forth between weeks I apologize for that it's been a while since um, I've been with you guys um, so for the first week there was lifting where this product was applied let's say there was just a little bit of lifting um, in this corner right here or maybe at the edge right here so what I did is um, I took a little brush um, my favorite one has been this one from I've been getting it at the dollar store is um, the wet and wild and it's you know it's nice and sturdy so I would soak it in acetone and I would just go up and remove the part that was lifting off the the protectant that was lifting off I would just remove it like that just the little area and then I would go back in with this and retouch it and then seal it and put the quick dry top coat that's what I did and it worked great for me uh, as you can tell I do need to give them some shape. I have not really given them much shape because I wanted them to grow. I didn't want to mess with them too much because they're still uh, healing, if you will. So uh, going forward, I would ideally love to keep my natural nails. I don't see myself going back to acrylics, but... Uh, uh, but there was a Moira group by that had Acrogel and I know everyone has done it. I haven't done it. I've been like googling on it and I've just been dying to try it out uh, because I know you can also set uh, crystals on your nails with um, Acrogel. So I know um, Gailene has done some awesome reviews on Acrogels. Um, a lot of ladies have done a lot of great reviews on Acro Gels. So, um, I don't know if I might do that. Uh, I'm playing with that idea. I did um, take advantage of the group buys very steep discount. So, um, let me know down in the comment section uh, if you think I should do Acro Gel. Uh, Moira, I love their products. They've never let me down. Um, their quality is just awesome and uh, yeah that's that's where we're at right now um, let's see what else I do have a um, warm pretty that I received while I was displaced from my home I did receive a born pretty store just right here some stamping place to review for you guys um, these are some uh, beautiful, uh, let's see, you're going to have to stick around for that. But I think these are Haranada, if I'm saying that right. Plates. And one Born Pretty plate. And of course, this nifty little pen here. Just giving you a little preview of what's to come. Um, <clears throat> everything in my apartment is in boxes, upside down, um... Just bear with me guys, I'm doing it all by myself, uh, I have mobility issues so it's slowly coming together but not as fast as I had wished. So I'm definitely going to try to tackle this and this and uh, keep my natural nails going. Um, I actually saw um, Nail Nuts video yesterday and uh, she's also uh, going through the journey of doing her natural nails so definitely check her out um, Anna I've known her oh my goodness I think since I started my channel what 
nine years ago or something like that. So yeah, so um, everything that I've learned, I've got to thank Anna for. She's, uh, she's an awesome nail technician. Definitely check her out. And uh, yeah, guys, so glad to slowly but surely be making it back. Um, thank you for listening to me ramble. Thank you for being there. Um, and just overall, thank you for being such sweethearts. I did <laughs> receive some crazy comments, and um, you haters just just make me laugh. You're awesome. I love you guys too. You just your anger and your frustration that shows through your comments just brighten up my day because I'm like, wow. Um, lots to come, hopefully, and um, hopefully for me, this is the end of a lot of um, unnecessary um, things that I've had to go through. So, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, and I hope you guys are doing great. And I hope you guys are healthy. And um, I can't wait to hear from you.